Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Bourbon Blend. I'm Courtney, and this amazing side piece right here is Jay. I'm Jay. <laughs> and welcome to our show tonight where we're going to discuss many wilderness trail options. Yes, we are. Uh, my name's Jay, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah, I'm uh, I am your husband yeah. and side piece. Side piece. I'm both, and we've been married 3,900 years. Something like that. A very long years. time. Uh, we are glad to be back here. I think we're clipping again. I got it fixed. Uh, we are glad to be back here uh, again. Yes. Uh, here at the studio in mm -hmm. East Montgomery. But today we are joined by one of our favorite bourbon blenders. Yes. It is Cousin from across the street. Word, Cuz. Hello, all. Hey, Cuz. What's up? Not much. Looking forward to some wilderness trail tonight. Uh, oh, did you spoil something there? Well, given that it's three bottles on the screen, I didn't think that scared. would be spoiling too oh, much. Here. You're so yeah, funny. you're right. Uh, we do have three wilderness trail bottles here, two of them belonging to Cuz from across the street. <laughs> we borrowed. <laughs> and one of us uh, gifted to us last weekend by the outstanding Raven. Yes. I mean, and, what an and amazing his, gift. And his wife, Casey. Yes. So uh, we're fired up to uh, drink these. We're going to have to explain why we haven't had Wilderness Trail before because there's definitely a reason. Uh, we got a lot of legendary blenders already in. We have to give credit to Madison Tate, who is hey, our... Hey, I know her. She's our offspring, so she, she gets special credit. Ola Blenders and fam. Yes, she's down in the old uh, South Alabama. She says, I'm not sure why it's got me with the full legal name, Madison Tate. I don't ever call her Madison. Or do I do sometimes? I don't know that either. I call her Maddie or Nasty. You must have been logged in for a class or something. Ah, <laughs> that must be it. Uh, we're also joined by a number of our legendary blenders, including Raven, the aforementioned mm -hmm. Raven. Number 19 is here. Otag. Uh, Norman's here with us tonight. Yeah. Uh, Corey W., Tori W., the power couple from Montgomery. Uh, in the chat, you might see Chris H., which could confuse you potentially. Because Cuz is actually here with us tonight. Yes, but, it uh, is. It's very confusing. And uh, Pipe <laughs> is here all the way from the greater Cincinnati area. Yes. And so, yeah, this is good stuff right here. Thanks it's for tuning good. in to our show. We're going to talk about Wilderness Trail, and we're going to talk about Red Lobster, <laughs> and we're going to talk about uh, the Bunker Bash Bunker last weekend. Bunker Bash last weekend. Some unfortunate mm -hmm. things that occurred mm -hmm. uh, in the process of getting through that. There was blood shed, yes. and we have photographic evidence of said blood. However, we do want to jump into the bourbon. Yes, we do. Courtney, so we're going to start off. We got to finish off what's in your glass first. We're going to start off, Courtney, by once again explaining to me, because I don't know what we're talking about. What is a bottled and bond bourbon? You know exactly what a bottled and bond bourbon is. Yes, it has to be produced in America. Um, it's the product of one distillation season, which is a six-month period. Uh, one distiller at one distillery. Um, it's aged in a bonded warehouse, U.S. bonded warehouse, and it is bottled at 100 proof. So today we are going to be sampling um, a yet another bottled in bond um, with the 100 proof. I'm looking forward to trying this. Oh, a 100 proof bottled in bond. Yes. Is that, our, is that our favorite? Yeah, it's a favorite kind of bottled in bond is 100 proof. Okay, we'll take the first, uh, take a look at the first one. Uh, that is going to be Wilderness do, 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 do. Trail Bottled in Bond. Do, 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 do. Uh, Presentation. I do want to point something out. So the reason we haven't done Wilderness Trail until our 27th show, and we, we like it a lot more than our, it's better than our 27th favorite. <laughs> Courtney and I are graduates of Transylvania University, which is located in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. We are known as the Pioneers, and we are also <laughs> the 2023 Women's Division Three National Champions. Yes. In basketball, so right there. Yes. Our number one uh, rival are the Center College Colonels. Ooh. They are located in Danville, Kentucky, which is about, I don't know, what, 40 or 50 miles south of Lexington mm -hmm. in Bull County, Kentucky. And we really don't like, I got kicked off campus in Danville for throwing popcorn at soccer players from my couch <laughs> that was uh, positioned along the sideline there. Um, this dickhead named Adams threw me off campus. He ended up being the president at Georgia many years mm -hmm. later. And he didn't remember kicking me off campus. Of I, course he I, didn't. I confronted him on the sideline at Georgia. Um, of course he didn't. So I don't like Danville. I, I, they, they're, they're no good. They're, 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 they're dirty. There's some cheese. snitches. Um, it's that garbage truck black that they wear. 
Uh, what else is it, Cuz? What else do we do? Does that guy disparage Tennessee in that video? Uh, they low down, they dirty, dirty, they some snitches. <laughs> some snitches. They, uh, <laughs> they, they went to a garbage truck workers convention. There you go. So that's why we haven't reviewed them. We're just kind of against Danville, but we're going to do it anyway. I mean, might as mm -hmm. well. So, oh. Uh, it's time. <laughs> a little bit of a bunker side on this. Uh, AU Taxman says, so speaking of bloodshed, RIP AU Tiger 8820, EAD, and SIW. <laughs> uh, 8820 got, got the band hammer from me yesterday, I think it was. Yay. He was basically challenging me to ban him, and I was like, bro, this is an easy this one. This is right easy. Here. Okay, here you go. Uh, we ended up having a conversation uh, via direct message, and he was actually pretty cool and amenable after some after initial in salvos. So he may be back. If he is back, hopefully he's learned a lesson. We'll put it that, put it hmm, that way. Doubt it. All right. So produced in Danville, Kentucky, retail price is seventy-five, which is kind of high for a one hundred proof bourbon. Okay. Uh, this is a six-year-old bourbon. Uh, Sixty-four, twenty-four, twelve is their mash bill that they like to use. So this would be mm -hmm. considered a weeder. Mm. Is that fair, Cuz? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the question is, uh, among Reddit and other knowledgeable bourbon people, is are you willing to pay $25, $20 or $25 more for this than you would Russell's Reserve 10 year? I think that's the one. I mean, that, that's a similar bourbon. Interesting. That is ubiquitous and cheaper. Yeah. It I is a very cool bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember paying $75 for it when I bought this bottle. I wanted, but it was still probably at least $65 uh, in that price range. So I, I think that's a fair question. Mm -hmm. All right. Mine was, uh, the one I had was signed by uh, Jenna Jameson, so it was probably worth a little bit more. Because <laughs> she went deep on that bad boy. Um, In the throat. So we're going to, hey, JM, there he is, one of our friends who loves the G-Pits. Uh, what up, hey JG there. and Courtney just poured a glass of Old Granddad 114. Yes. We just killed. We just killed it. And the pre-gamer we took care of. All gone. Jeff, in honor of you, bro, I'm going to do it just for you. Man down. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> he, no, he, he's, on, he's on board with the man down shit, and he likes to kind of come back at me with that. So we're going to do a man down on our old granddad because we'll just, we'll just cash it out. Okay, so the bottle and bond, Courtney, did you already pour it? No, because uh, we're finishing off what was already in your glass, Your Highness. Now we're going to. All right, and uh, Madison just sent over a pic. Oh, <laughs> of what she's been doing today. Yeah, this is what, how she's been spending her college time. We're very proud of her. Uh, we'll, we'll do that after we drink this. Oh, that was a hefty pour. I'm really kind of excited about our, all these pours because, first of all, we got the bottom and bond, and then we're going to do the cask strength and then a, a, a store pick cask strength, and we'll mm -hmm. be able to compare and contrast how those two, uh, if there's any difference between those two. Uh, Cuz notes that the Wilderness Trail rye is well reviewed, it is very popular. I think Wilderness Trail in general is pretty popular among the uh, the Reddit set anyway, uh, which I usually trust. Those guys are pretty knowledgeable. Oh, wow. I'm usually on board with that. That is um, very light. Really? For 100? Very light. I'm smelling Twinkies on the nose. I'm not smelling Twinkies. Very light. I'm smelling Oreos. It almost it almost tastes like um, Nutter butter. it's had an ice cube in it. Like it's kind of a little, it tastes a little watered down to me. Maybe that's because I just had the 114, though. But, I mean, I like it. it. It's good. But it once again, I never thought I'd be one of those people that's like, give me a higher proof. And I am and here one you of are. those people now. Here you are. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> um, I'm guilty. I'm getting vanilla, um, dry. I think I would agree with you that it's a little light. Mm -hmm. And um, I get this funkiness on the back end. I'm not sure. Is that just I don't oak? get any funky. I don't know what that is. I, I think there's a a little a little I get a little mint. Well mint, the, that might be what it is. In the hmm. in the back end. Hmm. I don't get that yet. And uh Raven is asking for <laughs> administrative assistance official mouthfeel feel review. Very soft in my mouth. Um it uh, um I don't know. I can't really. I'm having a hard time picking a a flavor, a note. Um, you getting any vanilla? No. 
Are you tasting yeah. regret at all? No, not yet. That'll probably be a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> regret for <laughs> five in the morning when the alarm goes off. <laughs> With it being a wheat, I think there's a little earthy. That may be what it is, cousin. No, to it. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's it. interesting. I don't taste that, and I normally do, so I, I don't know why. Mm. It's, it's good, you, though. You, you, bur you burned your taste buds with that old granddad. I might have. <laughs> I might have. That might be the facts. <laughs> Definitely, to me, not fruity, though. No. No, it's it's a dry. No. <laughs> Since he says flaccid. Flaccid, flaccid bourbon. <laughs> I guess that's a word you're used familiar to dealing with, with uh, Pike. You're familiar with that? Flaccid? Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Yeah, I do. Soft. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't something that comes up very often with us. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Anyway, no, I, I think it's good. Um, if it really is seventy five dollars, I wouldn't pay seventy five dollars for it. Cause what were you thinking this was actually would go for? Like, what do you remember paying for this? I, I want to say it was around sixty sixty five. All right. Yeah, you know, somewhere in in that ballpark. Is this six years? Yes. Okay. And it at six years, I think. What's the rule of thumb? You know. Uh, 10 bucks for every year, you know, you it's probably kind of fair, but you know, like you said earlier with the Russell's 10, you know, that that's underneath that price. Uh, the rule of thumb for me is that the jeans are tight and the fit is right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We also got a cameo here from B Haynes because you may be familiar vaguely with who she is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She may be your partner in crime. Yes. She, she's a legend. A she legend. is 100% a legend and Definitely. she is uh an absolute legend. She likes her bourbon too. Okay. So Girls who love bourbon are not necessarily a numerous group. So we appreciate the ones that we find out there. This one bottled and bond? No, I don't believe that's bottled and bond. Mm. I do believe it's just 100. 100 proof. It's just 100 proof. I wonder, they have a little sample of it next to what we just had. Let's see, uh, AU Tax Band says, I'm about to crack a seven year bottled and bond uh, Wilderness Trail rye. Rye. Hmm. Is that a green label, I guess? Yes. I I like that pour. I don't love that pour. That's good. Solid. That's solid. I do want to thank Cuz for sharing it, it with us, though. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, how many charcoal briquettes um, out of... How many are you deciding today? Between five, five and ten. <laughs> I don't... Raven, Raven was getting on us, and he said, dude, stop doing that. Stop changing the... It's uh, Jay. <laughs> it's not me. That is Jay. Uh, out of out of five, for I think Raven prefers five, so five. Oh, five. Um, I give it two. Two. A two, and the reason I'm going to give it a two is because of if the price point is seventy five dollars, I always play price point into my taste. I just do. Um, Don Proper Dickens is here uh, from Maastricht, Holland. It's pretty, well, it's pretty early in the morning over there. It is. It's very early in the morning, but he's fired up because he knows that the Dutch national team is going to be playing soon, and uh, it's a very exciting time. He's a big Feyenoord fan. Of course. And uh, they've been playing great soccer. Uh, second in the table in the Eredivisie this year, so congratulations, Don. It's been a great year so far. <laughs> That's exactly also, what I Also, Corey saying. mentioned uh, in the chat, uh, Courtney whipped my ass this past weekend for running my mouth. I'm still sore. Lesson learned. Did you end up having that confrontation? Corey would love every minute of that. Corey, I want to say something about Corey. Uh, he had, was it a Yeti? He had a Yeti backpack? Yes. And that son of a bitch was solid. And I ain't talking uh -huh. about Corey's chest. I'm talking about that, that equipment <laughs> yes. he had on his back. He, he was ready to go pack, pack. He was that packing was back, 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 a good pack. 20 pounds on that back, bad boy. Pack, back, pack. Should have gotten a picture of Corey was ready. on the pack, pack. That was really <laughs> nice. Uh, my question uh, that I asked here on the graphic is, can it beat Russell's Reserve 10 at 55? And they're hard to compare, cuz, because to me, Russell's Reserve is kind of fruity, and this is kind of vanilla and mint. Not that yeah. it, it's a different flavor. depends on what you're looking for and everything. I, I personally, I enjoy this. Uh, I like it. It's a little bit different. Uh, I would agree with that. But I also probably would prefer the Russell's 10. Gotcha. I agree. Yeah. It's like a cute found you against a middle of the road kind. Do you want to try this other mm -hmm. hundred proof next to it? See what you think. Why not? Well, yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I mean, geez, Cuz, would you like a pour of this I, I'm old forest, sir? I, I am good. He's Gucci. Okay. I'm good. Cuz got to go in tomorrow. Yeah, I, I would give it a three and a half. Really? Three and a half okay. charcoal briquettes out of five. Yes. Nice. Wow, there you go, Raven. There you go. 
Let's see, Raven says on a scale of five, two isn't as bad as it sounds, but also four isn't as good as it sounds. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> I gotta put that on the show, my bad. Um, Appreciate Raven, that. I will say it is not butthole, so. Oh, <laughs> that's go. right. What, isn't that? <laughs> it's not butthole. <laughs> and in the binary word, it's either butthole or not butthole. Yeah, I mean, I, either I like it or I don't, so it's either good One's or it's butthole. Ones and zeros. That's right. <laughs> Ones and zeros. <laughs> Ones and zeros. I'm gonna have to get a, a like we're gonna have to flash up like a, a an X across a, a butthole. Not butthole. <laughs> Not butthole. Butthole. Yes, butthole. Butthole. I don't know how. Butthole. No, it would be butthole down. That would be a down arrow. <laughs> Oh, isn't uh, you sent over a text to the group earlier today saying that today is anal sex day? It is. National anal sex day? It is. Is that, is that true? <laughs> I mean, according to uh, Dr. Ruth. Dr. Ruth Westheimer, who's I still mean, alive somehow. Who's still what alive. Is she, 95? And feisty as all get out. Is she I still mean, banging? Yeah. I, you know, I didn't ask her the last time we were talking, but. Um, here, hold on. I think I can pull that up. I got it right here. Well, I don't, we don't Says, give a shit if it's on the show, honey. Uh, so today is <laughs> anal sex day. <laughs> If you're into it, great. If not, don't feel pressured. But if you were thinking about it, I guess today's a good day as any. <laughs> I mean, God bless her soul. Hey, to be fair, before I started this, this stream, I had to say, is it made for kids? And I said no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just wondering how, how a particular day is chosen as anal sex day. Yeah, it should I be. mean, like, is, I, I don't understand why 418 is... You know what? <laughs> Anal the sex day should definitely be uh, March eighth because that's the three eight. And if you think about the three and the eight, it looks like balls going into a butthole. Like a okay, butt. okay, okay. We're not gonna run off our so twelve So three eight. Three eight. Three eight. Hey, eight. welcome uh, to the Britney Spears people who are uh, Britney uh, uh, Taylor Swift people who came <laughs> over from her stream. Exactly. She's uh, rating our stream as the rumor tonight. So Dr. Ruth Westheimer somehow still alive. She seemed ninety years old when we were in college. Yeah. I mean, God bless her. Do you think she's still banging? I guess today is as good a day as any. Jeff says, butthole or not butthole. I'm going to find a way to use that at work tomorrow. I hope. Not on like your um, your Zoom or your whatever your whatever work conference call you're on. I hope he's working at uh, Love Stuff. And <laughs> not somewhere legit like where I don't work. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Chris M says, I mean, you're going to feel a little pressure either way. Uh, uh, leave it to Chris M to uh, come up with the double entendres. Uh -huh. I like that about him. Ravin says, I guess we need to check the almanac. <laughs> yeah, the farmer's almanac says that this is, it's going to be a very cold day in hell today. Chip Chip says, approximately 1% of your current subscriber base is signed onto the blend. God, I hope it's not 1%. Oh, damn. It's like 0.02 or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then Otag mentioned that some may feel more pressure than others. It it really just depends on your That's true. on your the, the, flexibility. The, the gravity of your, your situation. Yeah, pliability, Courtney. No, for sure. flexibility. You're big on flexibility, aren't you? <laughs> you I have a picture of you as a ballet dancer. You're not showing that on here. So. I don't even know how to get a hold of that. Yeah, I know where it is, and you will never see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it is, and I am going to see it again. No, but I, won't, I wouldn't put it on the show. That's not very nice. It's not very nice. Uh, let me. <laughs> no, it's not. Let me, uh, Maddie was very proud of this. I want to show a picture. Uh, Madison. What Maddie was doing today at school. <laughs> spent her day making jello shots. It's a chemistry experiment here. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a chemistry experience, uh, experiment. So yes. she was making jello shots and she's a Chi Omega. She's a senior now of the Chi Omegas. And so she made it red, well, cardinal and straw. That's right. Which are the official colors of Chi O. So nice said, job, how many Maddie. How did you make? And she says, oh, like 125. I'm like, okay. Y'all are good. She's got a future at Rocco's in uh, Omaha. They, they do the Jello shots. Yeah. Well, these are layered. I mean, it does take a little extra effort for that. Yeah. I mean, you got to be a nurse or a, a nurse. chem major or something to figure that shit out. I've never done that. So anyway, I'm nice so job, proud. Maddie. We're very proud. Good job. Uh, we also got Chip Chip here. Uh -huh. uh, we love Chip Chip. Uh, he hosted us last weekend at yes. the Bunker Urban event. Otex is not quite as wholesome as National Golden Retriever Day. True. Wholesome, wholesome H O L E S O M E. It is that wholesome. <laughs> Our, uh, what, what will we call Cheyenne? Our. It's my nephew's fiance. Yes. Yeah, nephew's fiance. Mm -hmm. She loves to talk about wholesome. 
Jeez. That is so wholesome. Oh my gosh, that's so wholesome. wholesome. And I just love that word. When <laughs> it's, it's perfect. <laughs> uh, Madison notes they are layered jello yeah, exactly. shots. Exactly. Layered. It took shots. extra time. Uh, and then Chip Chip says they're very sassy. Sassy. Sassy shots. Sassy. I'm uh, going to need you to taste test. Chris M says those on the next blend. I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to. I think they will all be I, devoured on Saturday. I think the Kyos are going to hit that pretty hard. <laughs> and she said they're. <laughs> they're doing a, a bar crawl, and the way they're getting around is on a school bus. <laughs> school bus? That's they're pretty... in like a, I guess, an old school bus. Uh, I hope it's not like a current in use school bus because that would be. Oh, that would be awesome to say <laughs> Mobile Public Schools. <laughs> These drunk girls with their boobs hanging yeah, out. Yeah, their tits <laughs> hanging out and stuff. That would be amazing. I'd like to put that on TikTok. I'd get 5,000 subscribers. You right would away. very quickly. We wouldn't be begging for subscribers. We have 400,000 subscribers on this channel. <laughs> exactly. Chain, so. uh, we're going to move on to our next Burbs, uh, which is going to be the Wilderness Trail Cask Strength. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. Uh, this is a expression. We actually have two of these. So we're going to start off with the 100. Man down. Mm -hmm. The 111. So this is the one that Raven. Uh, gifted us. gifted us. And Re there's a story behind this one. Raven said he got this. At his honey hole. At his honey hole. Yes. And areas undisclosed. Yes. Cousin, would you like some? Yes, I would. Honey, oh, uh, 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 yeah. uh, 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 come on. Give me a little more. Look at this, man. Give me a little more. You are thirsty tonight. Uh, I like it. Please, Please enjoy, enjoy, cousin. Thank you, sir. All right, so, so what I like about this, Courtney, is we're going to be able to try what I would call the regular cask strength. Thank you. And then we're going to have a store pick cast drink and we'll mm -hmm. be able to mix and match. Thank you, like of course. This. You can smell it's a little bit a little bit toastier on the nostrils. <laughs> Otag said, little Timmy became a man that day. <laughs> 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 when the coyotes came by on the mobile public, the commandeered. <laughs> the public school bus. Public school bus. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie provides us some more background. A school bus is pulling up to my house <laughs> and picking up 30, 21, and 22-year-old girls, my neighbors are going to be like, huh? <laughs> what is going on here? What, what school it. is this? Jeez. Okay. I like this better already. Mm -hmm. This is much better. Much better. This is not... Yeah. This lingers. I don't like talking about the price because it Raven, Raven gifted this to us and it's kind of lingers. chintzy to it's discuss good, price. This is good. It is not butthole. It is delicious. I really do like it. I actually, the bottle is significantly lower because of me last weekend. <laughs> Don Property says, I got my first bourbon today. Buffalo Trace, $40 out the door. Out the door. <laughs> out the door. <laughs> he had to get floor mats, uh, fucking extended warranty, protection for the keychain. Plus, he uh, also got, he, plus he also has somebody that's going to call him and ask him to add on to his warranty. That's always the additional fun. <laughs> Would you like an extended warranty on your 2004 Sequoia that has 275,000 miles? They called about Jay's Maxima. I'm like, this is a 2000 Maxima. No. It was a 98. 99. It was a 99. 99. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Don, that's a good first bourbon, cuz. Mm -hmm. I know that you are you would stand by that, right? Absolutely. Very good. Buffalo Trace is a really good, solid, everyday bourbon. So to me, Don Properdickin is st 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 standing on business. Yes, standing sure. on me. -ne. I like it. Uh-oh, Maddie says, got to leave work and eat dinner later, Blenders. Wow, she was, she was blending at work? She was blending at work. She was blending on the clock? I, I like she worked this morning, then she went home, made jello shots, and then she went back to work. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a huge improvement over the first one. This is had. really good. It lingers. Like, you don't have to. The other one, I felt like you just kept drinking. This, I, I can enjoy. Cousin, thoughts on this one? This is the rye mash bill, right? This is not there. It's it's a different mash bill. Oh, this is way. not the corn mash bill. Yes. Oh. Damn. I did not know that. Okay. Wow. A, yeah. It, it, I'm going to take this down, then. It's okay, Jay. Well, I mean, I like keeping stuff straight. I mean, come on now. I'm heard about it. No, what if Wilderness Trail is I think watching? on the side of the bottle, it, it, is it, does it not tell you what the mash bill is or underneath? Mm, not this one. Oh, uh, okay. It gives you the age statement. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is uh, number four alligator char. Uh, yeast mm -hmm. strain 927 just says made from corn, wheat, and malted barley. 
Oh, okay. So it is wheat. So I don't get I don't get the I don't get that earthiness that I got I in either. the first mm -hmm. one in this one. I don't either. And and I don't get what there. What, I still get a tad bit of the mint in there, but it's not as pronounced I as know. I thought in the first one. I like it because it lingers. I like a bourbon that lingers without burning my esophagus. So this is younger and it's better. Like that's interesting. But it's also higher proof. Well, yeah. it's interesting. I like it. I will definitely enjoy Ruben more. Vince says Madison is already starting to master adulting. Oh yes. By uh, by double dip in there. Um, that's called multitasking. Multitasking. <laughs> that is what we like to say. Yes. <laughs> And uh, Corey Dove says 111.3 proof seems like fire out of the back end the next day. You that know, I is don't really have that issue. Specific. You know, I don't ever really have that issue. Were you shit fire after you eat hot? No, bourbon? not after not after bourbon. I have I have the bourbon tummy where I wake up at 3 a.m. and I'm like, oh my god, and I'm wide awake. Yeah, oh. that's not fun. That's, I think that's just because I'm old though. I have a solution to that problem. Get on Reddit and get, oh. in, get into a fight with someone about some bullshit and then go to bed. That sounds great. So, and I just sounds go, like a lot of fun. that's a W. Boom, right there. I don't care what happened. I just say that. Uh, okay, so this is delish. This is definitely a step forward. I would give this four charcoal briquettes out of five. Uh, the sustain on this one is, is so I, would, long. I agree with you. Just, I would give four for sure. Listen to the sustain. I would definitely give four. These go like to this. 11. I like that a lot. Did you know they're making a new spinal tap, cuz? No. Do you like Spinal Tap? I don't know that I've ever seen it. Oh, that's a, that's a waste. They shouldn't make another one. There's some movies that you just shouldn't remake. No, it's not a remake. It's a... They're moving on. It's well, like I'm, they're checking back in with the band now. The band should be uh, dead by now. Like, they were old. <laughs> hey, my mom died. Shut up! Shut up! Can you stop bringing it up? Shut up! That's for you, Ruben. Yeah, Ruben loves that shit. <laughs> he hates that shit, man. He gets so uncomfortable when I do the mom jokes about her dying or whatever. I actually dropped one today on uh, some older ladies, and they got a little, a little concerned, jarred because they're in their seventies. Yeah, they're probably a little closer. They're like, oh my god, how old was she? I go eighty, and they're like, you can see them doing the math. Like, Ooh. oh shit. Ooh. Uh, the guitarist uh, from the Allman Brothers band died today, uh, yeah. whose name escapes me. Dicky Betts. Dickie Betts, I think he was 80. Yeah. So there you go. And I'm really, something that I think is really awesome is when my mom passed away, I'm not, I'm not dwelling on this, guys, I'm, I'm good. Is the same week that OJ died, she would fucking love that because she was she so. She was so into that trial. She was, oh my God. She was so into that trial. And she still was just mad, like mad yeah. about OJ. And so the fact that they died the same week, it's just. There he is. Don knows what I'm talking about. Why don't you just, why don't you just. Make 10 louder and make 10 the loudest. But this one goes to 11. <laughs> These go to 11. <laughs> it's one louder, isn't it? Uh, we were going on Reddit, we were going through all kinds of quotes from that movie. It was, Have a good time. Oh, the time. <laughs> it's creepy. It's a bit of savage right there. Uh, let's see. Ravin says, I'm uncomfortable sitting in my own house. The distance <laughs> doesn't help. With the uh, me joking the, about my uh, mom. Uh, and Brandon <laughs> says, uh, uh, he texts and says, humor is the best way to deal with stress or grief. Thank you. Yes. That's certainly the way that I've done it. I mean, everybody has their coping mechanisms, and ours would be to joke about it. I know. My mom would just <laughs> so. be like, Jay, come on. Yep. Haven't you joked about this enough? Haven't you joked about my demise enough? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Two Pups says, Jay reminding ladies the Grim Reaper coming for the olds first. <laughs> That is actually about right, though. That's not nice. I was like, nice. she was 80. How old are y'all? That's not nice. <laughs> she was 74, by the way, 74. And, uh, not nice, Jay. She didn't look a day over 72. <laughs> That's like that compliment I got last week when the girl says, you don't look any older than 47. And I'm like, wow, thank you. Hey, <laughs> that's really I'm nice. I'm 50. <laughs> that's a huge difference. All right, so this is good. I like um, this. I want I like just this. one more. Not little... butthole. Not butthole. Oh, this is 100% not, not butthole. butthole. This is good. You want something that's butthole? We have it over there. Oh. Kentucky gentleman. Yeah, that let's compare butthole. and contrast this with Kentucky gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's not very nice to the people of Kentucky gentlemen. All right. I'm quickly moving. I want to. I want the taste in my mouth. You have a 
What kind of pour is that? I gotta get it in my mouth. That is a, that is not a real pour. I need a real pour. Okay, so this one is a little hotter, just like barely. I think it's just a teeny bit Oh, it's a little bit, bit lower. It's, it's like 110. 110.23 proof. Oh, well, 0.23. I'm so glad. 110.23. Oh, I have a different nose though. That's weird. Yeah, it's. It does have a different. There's a little bit difference. Yeah. I still get vanilla and I still get mint. But to me. I get vanilla. I get vanilla, but I can get that on the other one. I just had like a little micro taste right there, and I actually tasted a little bit of fruit on it, which is impossible, right? Mm mm. That one. Mm -mm. The difference you can tell is one has the gold bourbon, and this has the black uh, bourbon writing on it. So, Again, this is the store pick that uh, we picked up for Cousin uh, from Columbus, Georgia. I definitely get, like, um, some fruit in here, though. I do, I get, too. I get different. It's crazy. It, I get something different, for sure, than I got yeah. on the other. Well, that, that's something that I've always been interested in. You know, single-barrel bourbons, obviously one barrel to the next can be different. You know, there can be some differences. I, the, uh, what you tried here recently, the uh, McKenna, mm -hmm. I, I have seen more variation That's in the w one barrel to the next with, with the McKenna. Some, mm -hmm. some barrels were, this is some of the best bourbon I've had. Others, I'm like, eh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, this is interesting tasting them both back to back. Yeah, it, I agree. This I definitely taste fruit on. I don't know exactly what kind of fruit. Could it be dragon fruit? It could be could Jolly be, Ranchers. Could it be king fruit? <laughs> could it be queen what, fruit? What? Hey, I tried something good this week, and that was a Jolly Rancher gummy. Did not get, real gummy. Did it get you high? No, not that. But it was a it was a gummy, and it was Jolly Rancher flavors. I didn't know these existed. It was pretty darn good. That's interesting. It was pretty darn good. The little one that was the cherry one looked like a ball sack, though. Because it had the stem and the little ball sack. the little cherries hanging off of it. Yeah. So it looks like a little sack. That seemed like a, if it's a, just a little twig, it would be like a, a very short shaft. Yeah, well, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Instead of a kielbasa. That's probably what you're more used to seeing. Uh, Brandon says, seriously, y'all should do a tour at Wilderness Trail. Nice facility and really friendly people. We have heard that a few times. Mm -hmm. I've heard that too. Uh, on the Reddit, for sure, that the folks there are really, really good. And they have a reputation in the bourbon world for being particularly shrewd. Apparently, they do something called sweet mash, cuz. That's the way that they do their bourbon. They start from scratch every single time instead of leaving some stuff in there. Uh, interesting. I, I, interesting. Yeah, if you see oh, the sign, Oh, well, they're known for like being mash. like the, the chemists, right? Yes. Okay. They are. They're the chemist people. Which really kind of hurts my feelings because I think of center college people as being dipshits, but I guess they're smart. I don't know. Yeah, you think they're center people? Are they Jay, center? Do we know? No. Jay, tell us how you really feel about center college, college can lick my balls. <laughs> I, I hate center college. And my dad's a graduate. No. No, he is not. No, he's an attendee. Your father attended a year and my father attended a year. That's how bad center sucks. They left. And they both went to University of Louisville after that. How about that? And then that sucked. And then. <laughs> Corey says, who invited the 40 plus dudes that rolled up in two pontoons? There, one of them was a, a bunker member. The yeah, guy that please. brought, he brought a, a bottle of uh, Eagle, Rare. Eagle Rare. He brought us an Eagle Rare. That was left. really funny because I'm just standing down there on the dock and I'm like, it looks like they're coming this way. And I was like, mm. and I'm like, hey, come on in, guys. Are y'all Auburn folks? Y'all all have Auburn stuff on. So. Brandon wants to know, does Jay Lee still offer Jolly Ranchers to the co-eds? <laughs> Only if they have Zima. <laughs> I love still busting on his ass about that. <laughs> Jay Lee, I love it. Um, Chris M. notes correctly that uh, one of them was a bunker member and found us. It was Fleas. Yeah. Uh, also, Raven said we really missed an opportunity by bringing our butthole barrel Oh. Uh, to the show, to the. Should have uh, been like, this is the best stuff ever. Well, we could have like, everybody says. We could have hoodwinked somebody. Exactly. We should have done that. Raven would have known. Cuz would have known. Becky would have known. We would have known. I've been like, it's so good. I, I can't Corey even drink known. it. It's just for you guys. <laughs> I'd be like, Corey, this delicious. Butthole bourbon. He would be like, I know I'm a blender, bro. I'm one of the dirty dozen. Uh huh. Dozens. All right, There's so we. 
But pretty much the difference here was a little bit of fruit, maybe just a little bit of hint. I, I and a different I nose. Some fruit. And, and you like the nose better. I do. Both of them are very good, though. Well, I'm enjoying both. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and have a sip off this butthole barrel. See what the fuck happens um, here. Last weekend, I had some of that uh, Heaven's Door. Heaven's Doa. That Ruin had, and it was good, too. I like that. It was like 120 proof, I want to say. It was good, though, too. Yeah, Ravin brought that in honor of my mom because she was knocking on Heaven's door last weekend, huh? <laughs> Got him! <it. laughs> Come there on, Ravin. There's another one. There's another one. Laugh it up, Big Daddy. Yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so ass. All you can Butthole, smell. Butthole, drink it. All I can you smell have to in the nose. It. I'm going to drink it. Buddy. You have to drink it. You know why? All I can smell Because you're is... the one that's like, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this perfect. No, no, no. He talked yeah. me into it. Uh, mm -hmm. We just. I want, I want, tell me if you don't smell Flintstones or vitamins. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's a butthole bourbon, though. You know what I think's wrong with me? When I was a kid, I would eat Flintstones vitamins by like five or six Everybody did. And everybody I had so much did. iron in my body, I think it <laughs> fucked up my brain. No, everybody did. It was like candy. I'd go and steal those and that you had, um, I did not like the blue ones, though. I would search the room and I'd get Barney out. Barney Rebel. <laughs> I got Raven laughing. <laughs> I'm finally, I'm glad I finally got through. All right, here we go. The worst bottle we've ever had. <laughs> Stop. It is not worth all of that. It is not worth all that. Oh, God. Drink, um, drink. <laughs> oh, God bless. <laughs> Drink, hydrate, hydrate. Why are you passing no, it to me? You say it's not that bad, drink it. No, I said it's terrible. I'm the one that says butthole. So, no. Ugh. Yes, call It does smell summer. like Flintstone. Because you need to smell the Flintstone vibe. Right. Because you don't. I'm not to. making you drink it. Because you haven't done anything wrong that I know of. You don't need to deal with that shit. Now, I do have a. Uh, it's bad. Store it's pick. really, really bad. I have a store pick barrel. It, it's got you, the aftertaste of the vitamins, too. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Go ahead. It's so bad. <laughs> I got a Boondocks store pick from Barrel. But you said it. It's much better than that one. So I need to... Don't you want some butthole bourbon? Come on, cuz. I, I need to... Butthole well, bourbon. What are, you, what are you coming over here for? Butthole bourbon. I'm going to try it and see. You, you are. Need butthole bourbon. Yeah, I, again, you haven't done anything wrong that I know of, so I don't know why you need to do this or something like that. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and wash it down with uh, Colleen. some of uh, I'm stoked that Colleen tasty. is here. Uh, she says, just joining, but really interested in the butthole barrel. <laughs> so the story on this one, um, Colleen, we got this at a really credible and nice liquor store. Are you still drinking? God, I took it for the team. I we got, got this at a really credible, nice liquor store outside of... It's Nashville? in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Spring Hill, Tennessee. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. um, and he, mm. this was his personal barrel pick. He had a few, and he said he really liked this one. And I wasn't leaning that direction, but I was like, fuck it. The guy picked it himself. He would know. So I very excitedly brought this home mm. and opened it up. And oh it my was gosh, fucking is... atrocious. Oh. Fuck. Can you is smell like Flintstones? Just, just the smell of it, I can tell I'm not gonna like it. Did you? Oh, you just, you just took the nose. Go like this. Go, go like this. And drink it. Pinch your nose and drink it. Oh. Don't inhale. I didn't inhale. I didn't inhale. Hey, um, hey, you tax man. It does say distilled in Tennessee. No shit. So it probably huh. is dickle. He said that Flintstones vitamins equal dickle. Oh really? I did not know that. You don't hate it, do you? It's not good. Okay. It's not good. You don't like it though. I don't like it. It's not good. <laughs> Don proper Dickens says JG just Ralphed. Uh Raven says just a hint if white dog shit. And Tori oh, says very good. butthole bourbon fits right in with National Anal Day. <laughs> that is very true. Good point. Very good point, Tori. Very nicely played. <laughs> All right, so this this I'm, I I put another pour in here, right? 
I'm gonna do the full <sighs> bourbon thing on this. I'm gonna wash it around my teeth and shit. Okay. No. Why off. are you doing no, that? No, because I just I'm a glutton for punishment. Why are you doing that? Are I am just, a fucking masochist. Are you and that's gonna what gargle with it too? Yes, I'll gargle no, with it. Right? No, no, no. I was no. I was in my gargle today. You're no, right? it doesn't want. You don't want to gargle with it. Don't do it. Don't. Just just swallow. Just swallow. <laughs> Gross. Swallow. <laughs> Your face is red. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my uh, god. Uh, it's so is, bad. Why do you keep drinking it then? It, if you mix it with last week's Clyde Mays bourbon, it's not too bad. You know? <laughs> so. Well, there you go. You gotta do a little something with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. But it reminds me of like how good some stuff can be, you know? <laughs> <sighs> we'll change it when we go with that. <laughs> oh hard. my god. <laughs> What have I done? Number 19 uh, says, does it say butthole on the label or what? Someone made that on purpose. Um, so. I don't have an answer. When I go back, I'm going to ask home. You're going to ask. Was, no, I think you got to be cautious in how you ask that. So. I will say, hey, man, so I got one of your picks. I think it might have been bad. I think it might have had was, butthole. It, was it cheaper than the other barrel? No. Is that why you picked no, it? It was still $120 it was, it was or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, that's not very nice. Dean Atlanta sends me a picture of Centra mini gummies and says, if I were a sarcastic asshole busting on you for the frosted tips, I would say you traded the Flintstones for these. Centrum. It's a Centrum women. <laughs> you fucking dick, man. I'm done. I'm blocking done. you. Don't ever text over. me again, D. That's it. I'm done. It's D over. is for dick. <laughs> and you're never going to get a weenie ride from me. He's a Steel Panther fan. That's why I said that. Okay. Mm -hmm. To help me, I'm going to get some of this Bardstown Foursquare to kind of wash. Oh, that's fair. Wash away the regret from drinking that <laughs> butthole. God bless, man. We had to go back there for real on our way up to Kentucky to bury my dead mom and tell him that my mom drank it and died. <laughs> Let's see what he thinks about that. Stop! I was like, she was doing great. And then she drank your piss and said, <laughs> Either that or that's no, 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 I gotta get that on there. All right, sorry. Uh, Chris says someone slipped in brown slipped on brown malort on you. Yeah. Corny, do you know what that no, is? No, I did not. All right, so this. Um, <laughs> no, I do not. I went back to uh, Raven's tasty beverage, and it tastes really, really good now <laughs> after the butthole bourbon. <laughs> Don says I need to pitch the importance of National Anal Day to someone later tonight. <laughs> Is there somewhere I can download a brochure? <laughs> Diagrams. <laughs> Do we not have the best folks here ever? Oh my God. And we have to get that in Dutch too. Yeah. It's going to be even harder. No, Wait. You, trust me. You only need diagrams. You don't need words. <laughs> no words involved. In the red light district, this is a common thing, right? Huh? You've been in the red, yes, red light I district? Yes, I have. Did you stroll through there? Yeah, I did. And it's just like they say it is. What were you looking Girls for? Girls in the, in the windows. What were you looking for? I wasn't looking for anything. I was interested in what legalized prostitution was like. So. Uh, hey, you taxman wants to know, have you tasted any actual four square rum yet? I think you'd really like it. This oh, is the, I have not had any This is the, the Bardstown with the finished in the four square barrels. However, I don't think I've had four square. I have not. Straight up. Cousin, have you? I do not believe so. pondering. Do not believe so. Oh, much better. I don't love it, but it's better. Uh, we're gonna. Well, we gotta get to some pictures. Let's go to some pictures. Uh, <laughs> it reminds me of airplane when he goes. All right, boys, let's get some pictures. Uh, and some of these involve some bourbons that I was about to mention. Uh, some of these pictures are also from our that bunker ship bourbon. Meat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chip Chip has a big hog. It is. Look and at there's that. the proof right there. Uh, on Friday, uh, we ended up having, no, we ended up having some prime rib. And uh, I have never seen prime rib in a big fucking thing like that. That's, that's and half that was of a cow. that was probably 15 cutlets right there. I don't know how many More that was. That. But wow, it was a sexy thing to look at. It was sexy. And there, there it is. Go. Cut open. There he is. And that is not blood. That is something else. It's called, it has a name. It's juice. No tag says, look at that meat. Nice meat. On National Anal Day, look at that meat. <laughs> mm. 
Chip Chip says, I recognize that guy. Yeah, yeah it was uh -huh. his. Look at that meat, though, seriously. It was, it was a big piece of meat. It was unbelievable. And he had this horseradish sauce that went perfectly with it. I was sitting with Casey, and she says, you're going to need to get that. And I was like, all right, I will. And then, boom! Yeah, you there it is. That. Back right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, a, that's some prime rib right there. That's how you do it. Chip Chip knows what the hell he's doing. There are a lot of people eating his meat. <laughs> there it is. I don't even have to say anything. The people who were there no, know what it means. Money. We were playing a game <laughs> where everybody had a nail and this piece of wood, right? You only see a couple here, but there were several pieces of wood. There was one below this. You throw the hammer up and you catch it. And however you catch it is how you got to try to hit the nail with it, okay? My man Gut Bucket threw that bitch up and he, he caught the the hammer with the head. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't held onto the shaft. He was holding onto the head. Mm -hmm. One of the only times in your life that's a bad thing. <laughs> and he was going to try to hit his nail. Like he wasn't swinging the hammer. He was kind of like going to try base. to tamp it down with the head, right? Mm -hmm. The first time he hit it, he hit the he did hit the nail and it kind of slid off. It was really not a big deal. The second time he hit it, he popped it and then it slid into his hand. Okay, moving right along. And that, what you see on the head of that nail, mm -hmm. is him. Like that's the <laughs> that's what he left on the nail. Uh, he ended up having to go to the. Uh, he went to urgent care. Urgent care and got that sewed up, and he came back. He came back to the party. Now that is a fucking baller, right? About there. ninety that's minutes a later, legend. he was back, and he he that's continued partying for a good two hours. That what, is a legend. One hundred percent. He was. He was a baller. That is that a baller is, for sure. <laughs> Corey says you can actually see the skin on the nail. You can. That's why I got the shot. And there he is, back a couple hours later with his hand bandaged, and it's all and, good. And uh, he's doing the shocker. <laughs> he does appear to be doing the shocker, which I am 100% on board with. Uh, uh, a couple other pictures of random note. I made this from scratch the other day. This is a- I was so proud. Look at that. That is a fucking man right there. A little too much chicken, probably. No, never. I love the meat. I always like your meat, Jay. There was There was a lot of pasta under the chicken, but I made that from that scratch. That was delicious. For Courtney on Monday. She said, Look how can him. I help you? I said, you can help me by sitting your ass on he the couch. He said, you just go sit on the couch. And I'm like, don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> um, okay, so. Is this was, OJ? <laughs> it does kind of look like OJ. <laughs> I was he has driving, a golf club in his hand. I was driving to Auburn on Tuesday, and the interstate got shut down due to a nasty uh, wreck. It was ahead of me about 300 yards. And we were parked for about an hour, hour 15 minutes. This dude jumped out of a semi with his golf clubs and was working on his wedge game. He literally had his golf clubs and he was just knocking the ball. He's like, back I, and forth. obviously this happens to him a lot. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to make use of this time. So uh, yeah, he just had his wedge out there working on his game. I sent that to Stulte, of course, our big golf fan at uh, on the on our staff there at AuburnSports.com. I took this picture because this jet up in the air, you see that, mm -hmm. that the jet trail, was following the interstate perfectly. Like he was like straight down the line of the interstate. Hmm. I've never seen that before. Interesting. So they I just probably that do cool. that a lot. You just don't see their jets. Well, yeah, okay, I got you. Um, <laughs> Ruben said, is that Bigfoot? <laughs> is that Bigfoot? It did kind of look like <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> With his earpiece. <laughs> With his earpiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was ready, man. <laughs> he looks like a UPS man. <laughs> I think he may have been, actually, but he was in a semi. Oh. Um, me and Cuz went out to drink on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. And uh, over at our friend Justin's place, the cigar bar downtown. And we got a chance to drink some stuff that we don't normally get a whole, our hands on. I had the Penelope Rio, which people have been clamoring about on the Twatters and on the Reddits. And I was fired the fuck up about this. Now, this is finished in honey barrels and also in Amberana barrels, which to me, if you're taking a bourbon that's finished in honey barrels, that to me turns it into a whiskey because that's artificial flavoring. In my opinion, that is my take. You may not agree with it. However, it tasted delicious and I was really happy about it. I like Amberana finish. It's very sugary, okay. very sweet. I think my man Cuz is not the biggest fan of Amber on a finish, and I respect that. I can totally mm -hmm. understand that it's just a little too much. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was really happy with this. And if you guys like sweet finishes and you get a chance to try this Penelope Rio, I would strongly suggest it. Mm -hmm. uh, cousin got this, uh, his first pour of the night was the Starlight uh, Cigar Batch, 
which also was finished in Ambarana barrels, but you kind of liked it, right? It was good. It okay, had, you didn't love it. It had a, it was sweet on the front end with a little earthy on the back end. So it was good. I enjoyed it. It probably wouldn't, I, I'd probably go three charcoal briquettes. Okay, three. Yeah. Okay. Three's not bad. I want it. It's not bad. No. Is it out of ten or out of five? I am surprised. Out of five. You picked Make... a uh, cigar blend, though. Well, it's kind of unusual. I, I've had good luck with the Starlight, you know, stuff, okay. and so I figured I'd try that. It was something different I didn't have, so. We that, have a Starlight was... coming back with us um, in, in May. We do. Yes. I mean, we do. We do. That wasn't a statement. That was a question. That was one. Uh, Courtney just passed along this, like this picture. So I think this is a really cool picture because that is Chip Chicks Chip Chips Dock, um, and it's just really really cool at night. And there's Luna, that is a precious uh -huh. pup right there, super sweet. And I just like that it was all lit up at night. And Luna's kind of like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> like, there's too many people here. I think that was back when you were uh, taping your. You're amazing. It does look like show. I'm taping the show over there. I think there, it is. Um, cause yes. I can see some people mm -hmm. that some, I know some chatting. Uh, from that. But beautiful, beautiful uh, night and day there. Really enjoyed it. And thank you again, Chip Chip. Yep. And then this is Luna. I love Luna. I think she's awesome. This is Luna living her best life right here. I mean, look at this. She is just napping in the sand. <laughs> the little beach there. She loves it. You just That's just awesome. I love it. She's a super sweet dog. Um, and um, I just love that she's just like, hey, I'm going to take a power nap right here in the sand. Yeah, so. Luna's really, really friendly. Yeah. I really like Luna. So. And she just, you can just let her out, and she just kind of chills and goes around the property. She's not taking off. So those were some cute pictures I liked. Uh, me and Cuz also had a chance to taste the Woodford Reserve double, double oaked. Uh, you guys are very familiar with the double oak. You can find that pretty much everywhere, on the hood, on the block, down the street. On our shelf. On the shelf? It's right down there. On your shelf? It's right down there. Um, but we found the double double oaked, which is, I guess, quad oaked. I don't really know <laughs> what you would call that on the streets, cuz. But I've been looking for it's it for a while. Squared. You've been looking for it for a while just for shits and gigs. And we located it. Our friend Justin O had a 375 milliliter bottle that he was willing to share a little pour of in exchange for something that I'm going to discuss next week. And uh, so we had it. And because I'm not sure we were smitten. I, I liked it. Well, first of all, I appreciate Justin sharing it. Absolutely, 100%. Mm -hmm. However. I, I liked it. I wasn't as impressed as I thought I might be. Haven't you all had this before? No, no. I've never had double double. Oh, I've I been thought, looking for it for okay. a couple of years. All right. So I can already tell I'm probably not going to like that. No, you would not like it's that. It's probably too earthy for it, me. It was around 90 proof. But uh, did it taste like dirt? No, it, it did dirt. not taste like wood. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Had a very but, muted front end, very oaky on the back end, and not hot. I agree. How I would describe I, it? I would have probably liked it at around a hundred proof. Okay. Maybe a little higher, uh, but it. I really enjoyed weak. it. I really appreciated it. It it did not live up to my expectations. I'll put it there that way. Go. Okay, that's fair. Tori, also a fan, says uh, Chip Chip was amazing. The hospitality was fantastic. Thank you yes. to everyone. And Tori, yes. obviously, was a huge fan of Luna as well. So. Yes. Super, super sweet. I was stoked to have the double double oak. I have been looking for that for a minute now, so I was really happy about that. And then, uh, yeah. Why do you always have to come back to that? Uh, Brandon makes a great point. Woodford is for Delta flights, and that's pretty much <laughs> it. I mean, that is probably when I drink Woodford. Yes, I love it. More than half it. the time is on a Delta flight, right? Uh, the Kentucky Derby would be the only other yes. time I would say. That's fair. Woodford. You get the shooters fair. on a Delta flight. Yes. You know, on the way to Punta Cana at whatever like, ten dollars like a piece. Bucks yeah. Or something yeah. crazy, but you're like, I need this. <laughs> um, so we have. Um, I hope you haven't forgotten um, our amazing end of segment. You talking about Red Lobster? No. You know, Courtney's Corner? Yes. Oh, I haven't forgotten okay. that. Okay. But I did want to talk uh, just a little bit, Courtney, about um, Red Lobster. About the downfall of said Red Lobster. So Red Lobster, th is, this is important to me. So Red Lobster announced this week, because you can correct me if I'm wrong, that they may have to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Yes. 
Uh, they're looking sad. at resources to find out if that's the case. And they say that they lost so much money on the all-you-can-eat shrimp deal <laughs> that it literally fucking broke them. Like, it broke the whole Does fucking order. Does that surprise anybody? What the fuck, man? Does that surprise anybody? It does not surprise me. Cut, we have... Oh, Colleen says drink. Oh, I think I know drink. what you she's showed, doing. You showed the oh, breadstick. Okay, stop. You're doing it again. <laughs> drink again. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I worked at Red Lobster in 1991 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I had a good experience there. I would Oftentimes, I was the busser. What did you do as a busser, as a teenage boy, Jay, when you would go back to the kitchen? Well, the story I was going to tell was that when I got there early on in the mornings at like 8 or 9 o'clock to get ready for the day. Uh, who... You were not at Red Lobster at 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. It was in the 9 o'clock hour. No, you were not. It was I in the disagree. 9 o'clock hour. What do they need bust at 9 in the morning? I had other responsibilities. Like what? To work with Asela. Okay, and what were you doing? I don't know. Are you buttering her biscuits? I had to get the fucking floor ready You're and shit. But Jay is so full of shit. I am. You showed up at 10.59 and you were due at work at 10.58. And you started working and you would bust tables and eat people's pie. I'm going to eat your pie. Wow. How pie? <laughs> How pie? How pie? <laughs> uh, there was a dude who would come in the morning at <coughs> like 7 8 o'clock. In the morning, and he would make biscuits all fucking morning. You just said it was a woman. It was a man. Asela. No, Asela was not the biscuit maker. Asela was a dishwasher. Um, <laughs> I forgot his name. Don't end a sentence of the what, what did Henry say? Did you see that? Yes. He what said, time would it be at? Oh, he's gonna. He needs to check with Caleb on that. Okay. Um, he would make the biscuits from scratch, mm -hmm. and he would put them in these ovens, like little proofing ovens, similar maybe? to the ones like they have at Subway where they put the bread in. Yeah. And they we would have must have had ten of them across the back wall. Oh wow! He would make that many in a day because they would make them in the morning for the whole day. So that was back in the day when they weren't just in the oven; they would be ready when you came to the table. Yeah, you so, don't have to wait for that. Because now they actually have to like their policy is they have to wait for an order before they give you the biscuits and the free bread. The bread sticks at Olive Garden, same thing. Same thing. They aren't going to give it to you until you place an order because they had people coming in and getting like water and just. <laughs> Bread. Water. Let me get a double water. I need a double water. I had a great experience at Red Lobster. I really enjoyed the Cheddar Bay biscuits early Those in the Cheddar morning. Cheddar Bay biscuits are really good. Because he would literally, like, he would bake them, and when they were fucking finished at, like, 9.30 or whatever, he'd pull those bitches out, and he would he would have the brush right there, and I would take them right out of the oven, me and Asela and uh, the other dude, and we had the freshest Cheddar Bay biscuits in all of uh -huh. America. It was amazing. So here's the deal. Now they also have, you know, Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix I do. that you can buy at Costco. And then they also have the frozen Cheddar yeah. Bay Biscuits. Oh, uh, thumbs down. So on that, right? those actually are fine as long as you let them thaw a little before you put them in the oven. Thaw? Hey, um, somebody needs to turn the air down. It's hot in here. Are you serious? Yes. Thank okay. you. I got somebody. it. Jay's got, got it. No. Well, I got it. I got Jay's it. Got I got it. it. Look at him. They're going to fight over it, y'all. I'll do it. 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 It's all this. It's all this one ten proof bourbon, one fifteen proof I'll do it. Bourbon. I'll do it. I'll do it. He'll keep calling me. Oh god damn. Yeah. So you're, those this biscuits. Fucked up, what happened? Oh no. Jay, you're stuck. What is this? What's going on? You. Oh my. What did you do? Jay, why don't you have a normal mic on? Because I'm not normal. You're spe well, you know you're not normal. I'm abnormal. That's I'm normal. not normal. You're not normal. Why is it not working? <sighs> so yes. Yeah, so cheddar bay biscuits bomb. You for Salads sure. are not that great there. Are you talking about Red Lobster? Yeah, they're okay. Fucking salads. What are you talking about? No, I'm saying like at Olive Garden. Who gives a shit? Why would you, you go to Olive Garden for okay, a salad? Okay, so if you've got the breadsticks at Olive Garden or you've got Cheddar Bay Biscuits, I'm going to hit the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. But the salad at Olive Garden is that much better. So like you're you're torn. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Jay? Torn. What am I going to do? Mm -hmm. when, I, when, I'm, when in doubt, I defer to the brown hair girl. Uh, Otax says the mix is better than the frozen. Yeah, but you have to have a lot of things to add to the mix. Like, it's not just like water. You have to have a bunch of stuff. Raven says, so dishwashing was in the AM after the food crust had time to harden. After it had time for the roaches to come out and I'm eat the food. I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of these questions. Like but what that. did you used to do, Jay, as a teenager? Uh, Courtney wants me to tell you the story about how I was poor. I had no money. My mom, my dad had gone to live in Kentucky. We were living still in Oklahoma trying to sell the house. 
I was lonely. I didn't have any money. And so as a busser at Red Lobster, I would keep an eye on people's food that they were eating. Or not eating. Or not eating, specifically. And if they left without eating something, I would take it into the back and I would eat it. Part of it. So that this is, is something you might want to talk That did happen. I did that. This is something you might want to talk about with your therapist. <laughs> I got other things to talk about, like my dead mom. Uh, yeah. Colleen says we could take shots just for Courtney talking about OG breadsticks, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, we can. Or oh, I, can make it, I can make it easier yes. for you, Colleen. There you oh, go. stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right. I think we're at the point of the show where we go to our very special final boss. It is known to everyone and all as Courtney's Corner. Sponsored by The Bourbon Blend. Courtney's Corner this week is Best Game Shows. Best Game Shows. Do you have do you have the music? To we accompany, don't have music yet, but yeah. we can use copyrighted music because we're not monetized anyway. So what the fuck are they gonna do? Take yeah. our yes, asshole bourbon, true. asshole barrel. We're gonna make one this next week. That's a, that's on the agenda, Jay. We're making um, one. Courtney's best game shows is what we're doing. This was brought up this weekend, so I yes, cannot remember who said it. Was it you, Cuz? Cuz or Raven? One of uh, the I think it may have been Raven. Raven, one of the two of you, and I was like, "That's really good." So I typed it right into my notes in my phone, like an old lady, because I wouldn't remember. And I was like, "This is what we're talking about, Jay." So we're gonna go down it. The Price is Right is like fucking legendary. It is. It's, it's amazing. legendary. The best part is, and you didn't get the right picture there because the best part is with that teeny tiny stick microphone that one that has like the, you know what i'm talking about look he's got it right no there. no 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 no. it's like a t it's like a tiny cylinder it's like this big it's a tiny cylinder and has like a little cap on top of it yes that is the best one right there does anybody remember cash cab i don't think they do it anymore no but that was it, really fun. That was i good like one, yeah. i enjoyed that i enjoyed that show i'm like no 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 don't say that don't say that <laughs> i like that show <laughs> they had the lights on the top of the cab as I yeah, yeah yeah cool. and i love that they just dump them out <laughs> So they get in the cab, if y'all haven't seen this, they get in the cab, and then all of a sudden they have to answer these uh, trivia questions on the way. And if they don't answer them, then they just dump their ass out on the, on the street like eight blocks from where they're supposed to be. Or otherwise, when you get to your destination, they give you cash. It's pretty cool. That is a pretty good deal. That's a good one. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. Uh, we got a good one for you ahead of date. Yes. Family uh, Feud. Family Feud is a good one. I mean, it's still going, so I mean, hey. That's impressive. The best answer in but, the history of the Family Feud was uh, when he said... Richard Dawson, right? Wasn't that his name? Richard Dawson was... Richard Dawson like was uh, busy making out with everybody back he, in the He grabbed ass, titties, air, He's like busy everything. licking their face and stuff. It was... I mean, at the time, I guess it was acceptable, but I mean, now it wouldn't, wouldn't flow. The, <laughs> the best answer ever in the history of Family Feud was when he said... <laughs> In what this month? Is that, this is a final, uh, what is it Yeah, called? like when, it's, when you're by yourself and yeah, you got to come up with a five. Mm -hmm. He said, in what month do women begin to show that they're pregnant? And the girl said September. September. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Dawson, he lost his shit. He literally fell down he on the floor. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> he was out of control for like five minutes. He couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it. September. Mm -hmm. September. I love the newlywed game, and I think we kind of need to, at some point, play like a version of that. Yes, on the show. we do. We do. We do. We do. We need to play a version of that. Maybe we can like, figure that out because Chris and Becky have been Chris, married almost as long as. Yes, no, but they, well, can be, they can be the facilitators. They can ask the questions and we have the cards. No, 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 no. So, on our honeymoon, mood, we, we went on a cruise and they played a version of the newlywed uh, game and we laughed about that. You know, yeah. so, yes. So, Becky jumped in we, would not be, we would not be the one. newlywed game, but we would be the old folks game, but it'd be very interesting to see how different our responses still were. <laughs> I think we would be a very tough team to beat. I don't know about that. And I, I think know. I think the Peace Winnings would be the easiest team to beat. <laughs> because they're still living a life of mystery. <laughs> <laughs> she says that. <laughs> Courtney also says, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Which uh, I just like that because I love the phone a friend thing. Because you call a friend and they're like, shit, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I don't know who's in Depeche Mode. <laughs> this is before you can like type everything into your phone, right? In two seconds and get an answer. <laughs> uh, and then deal or no deal, Courtney? I love deal or no deal because I love the banker. I like the banker, too. I want to know what the banker's going to offer. And figuring out what the banker's going to offer is like kind of my, my shit. 
Yeah, you're always hoping the banker's going to make a big fucking offer, but he never, he really never does. does. He never, he never really does. does. He's a he's a miser. He never does. There might does. be four cases left, and they're all like above five hundred thousand. And he's like, nah, sorry. <laughs> uh, one MC says, just tuning in, been situating the dog for her surgery tomorrow. What's Aww. the wilderness rankings? The bottles seem hard to tell apart in the stores. It can oh, be. That is These true. are all gray, so they're kind of confusing. Uh, bottle and bond, I think we gave two or two and a half charcoal briquettes. Uh, the standard cast strength, I think, I think we gave four out of five briquettes. Mm -hmm. And then the bottle pick or the, the bottle shot pick, I think we probably would have given four and a quarter or maybe four and a half. We thought it was an improvement, right, guys? Yeah, but I do really like this initially. This is really good. That's what I went back to. So. Uh, for yes. me, pressure luck was amazing in like 84, 85, 86, because you had the no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, which uh, Cuz put on the chat earlier. And I love it when the whammy would come out and go. <laughs> <laughs> but they had a guy that gained the show. He figured out some he kind did. of a rhythm to it. He, he figured out the algorithm and gained I mean, that's very, to be fair, that's very Cuz-like. Cuz you would have played some shit like that. I, I know you. You would have figured that out. That's right up my alley. I would not have figured that out. Because I would have been all whammied. Uh, Jeopardy, to me, is a classic. I uh, enjoyed watching that. Family Feud. Probably Richard Dawson I like better because he grabbed the girls' asses and shit. That's kind of cool. Uh, match he game. He just like Leach across it. Not only would he kiss him, but he'd like grab him behind the head and like pull him in. Like, I mean, there was Here. there was no hesitation. Show me a little. No, bit. no, we're Show not we're not reenacting. People don't think we kiss. We've been married seventy five years. I, I mean, it depends. The match game, uh, which is from the maybe late sixties, but definitely game? the seventies. I don't even know what that is. That's the one where the people the the contestants would have to answer a question. And then the celebrities would have to try to put their answer and however many would match. Okay. We get the points. That. that was the one with the guy that had literally the microphone that was this long. <laughs> That's what Richard Dawson. I mean, this what, is uh, like yeah, Bob this, Barker had. This guy would have been a contemporary of Bob Barker in the beginning, but I always okay. thought it was just so much didn't, fun. Wait, didn't Bob Barker like have didn't when there are accusations on Bob Barker? I don't think so. I think he was Am a pretty clean living dude. Okay, sorry. I don't think he was banging Vanna White or anything. He's not with me. Uh, Ward MC, pulling for your uh, dog in the surgery tomorrow, though, bro. No okay? doubt. Definitely, that sucks. for sure. I hope that, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, uh, guys, grocery gains, I put on there because my dead mother really liked that. Sh she would watch every one of these. You could just say my mom used to like. My mom used to like, before she was dead, my mom used to love watching guys grocery games. And I would always go, Mom, have you seen this one before? And she'd go, Yes. Yeah. I go, Who wins? The blonde. <laughs> she knew. And then figure it out, which is one you guys probably don't even know, is on Nickelodeon. Oh, there's only one reason. I liked it for one show. reason, and it was because this chick. This chick is the host. Was the host. Summer Sanders was the host on Nickelodeon. I wanted to bang her so bad, dude. That, Lucky her. She is so hot. Wow. Fuck she. You. Even Courtney, when I show boy. you this picture, you go, no, she looks really she good. Is, she's a very pretty girl. Explain who Summer Sanders is to the younger generation. Yeah, so she's a Olympic swimmer. She's a gold medalist swimmer from probably, she's exactly my age. So she's 51. Um, so she would have been competing in like the early 90s, I guess. And she was a USA swimmer. And then mm -hmm. she ended up being a, uh, a host. And she seems very sunny and... Ebullient. Ebullient. Exactly. Ebullient. She's great. So I really like to figure it out because I just want to see Summer Sanders as much as possible. I really was eat up with her. This would have been like 96, okay, so 97, Okay, so let's scroll back through and see if anybody had any... Any uh, other hits that we missed? Uh, well, Becky said Tic Tac Doe, which is oh, actually a, a great one. show that I watched. Celebrity a bunch of Jeopardy time. was good. And then any of the Jeopardies they had on SNL were always funny. I think he's talking about that one, Courtney. Yeah, like the put your mother to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a big hat. It's funny. It's a big hat. It's funny. Uh, that was uh, Turd Ferguson. My name's Turd Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Chris M says, I ruled over who wants to be a millionaire thing at Disney when we live down there. I have so many pins from there. What? what is, this, is this something that we're... You're, wait, are you bragging about So he, yeah, he, yeah, he is. He went and gamed okay. it. He fucking gamed these people. So, wait, what was... The, remember when we went? Or was that at Universal Studios where they picked you out of the crowd to go up and you had to be on the TV and you had to get in a ball pit? Do you remember this? Vaguely. Oh, I can't remember where it was. I had two girls give me their numbers, but I just ripped them up. Oh, yeah. I they were definitely up. like, oh, my God, you're so hot. I An really need you. Angie, I'm sorry. Exactly. I was, I'm married. She That's is definitely one of the 24,000 on here right now. Hmm. Uh, my memory of that, that was called the Laugh Floor, I think, or something like that. The Laugh Floor. Now, my the Laugh Floor is at Disney, and that is 
where you have Roz going, ah, 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 ah. That's where I saw it, dude. That's um, uh, Mike. Mike. The, the year Mike that Auburn Wazowski. lost to Virginia unlawfully in the Final Four, there was a fucking guy with a Virginia hat on at that thing, and I walked up to him and I said, hey, man, I don't like that hat. And I think that you unlawfully fucking won that game, dick. Uh, Revenge is ten thousand dollars. Oh, that's pyramid. a good one. That's we, actually I a good one. I talked about yeah. that today because I was talking at work about this, this segment, and um, I was and Audrey goes, "What was that one where they had like the, the little like uh, half circle and they sat behind it with two chairs and they had a question and somebody had to answer it?" Ten thousand dollars pyramid. Can uh, you Chris, imagine ten thousand dollar, ten thousand dollars back then was. It? Yeah, but now it's a twenty thousand I mean, dollar pyramid. They've changed. No, the I number. mean it. That's a significant amount of money now. I'm not negating that, but back then, that is a lot of money. Well, back in those days, like a 38 C bra was big, you know? Now you're looking for double Ds or even bigger. Uh, Chris M says, match game with Gene Rayburn was mid-70s, and it was fantastic. How do you know about the mid-70s? Because he's our age, that's he's why. He's just a baby. He's not. Chris M? Yeah, he's just a baby. He's Fuck out of here. He's, like, he's got a Excuse son me. that's like 24. I'm giving you a hard time. Just... Whatever. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh... Oh, the weakest link. I hey, forgot about that Stoop, one. Stoop up says, my dead mom loved Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> awesome, bro. So yeah, guys, grocery <laughs> games and Wheel of Fortune. And Colleen says, I love Summer Sanders. Colleen was watching that show. There's no way. Colleen as a target anywhere. market. There's no way that Colleen is anywhere near our age. No, obviously not. But she How was does watching. How she know about Summer Sanders? Then? Because she I was need... watching the show as the target demographic. I need background. Oh, oh, okay. I got you. I she's got you. probably 10 or whatever. Yeah, I like, got she's you. She's loving that show. Yeah. The show, it was on Nickelodeon for kids. Yeah. I was watching it for the oh, hot-ass fucking Oh, scroll up. She says, not the same way Not the same you way you <laughs> No, no, no. Joker's uh, Wild. That's a good one. Oh, back when they would go, oh, Joker, when they had the big, Joker, like, Joker. The big, like, uh, spear on the, on the handle, and you had to pull it. Yeah. Uh, CJ says, Black Jeopardy, with, uh, that's on SNL with... Keenan, as funny. the uh, and by the way, Keenan was on Figured Out. He was a frequent contestant, I guess, on Figured okay. Out. Okay. Uh, Black Jeopardy when uh, Doug, as uh, Tom Hanks was Doug, <laughs> and it was. Uh, They're like, you okay, Doug? <laughs> what, 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 what can a thin woman do for you? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doug, I got you, man. I, I got, got you. you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Chip Chip says, I'll take anal bum cover for 600 <laughs> Is that like a beaver cover? Uh, I Kristen don't know. Says, a bum cover is appropriate on National Anal Day. <laughs> or whatever it was. <laughs> whatever it was. Need, whatever it was called. I forgot what it was called. Uh, make a deal uh, is what Tori was make saying. A make deal. a deal. Is I that like, uh, that. is that the one with, um, is Wayne Brady going to have to chuck a bitch? I don't know about make a deal. Know. I don't know that what one. What is Revenge Oh, let's about? make a deal, Tori says. Yeah. Okay. That's the one with uh, Wayne Brady on now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Chris says it's the $100,000 <laughs> pyramid now. Should yeah. Be. I knew it was it more. I knew it was it more. I knew be. it was more. And, uh, oh, CJ says, I'm 20, my guy. My dad is 52. Okay, I'm 51. Yeah, I'll be 52 shortly. So <laughs> there we go. So we are the same age. Uh, Chip Chip says, isn't there a game show in England or Australia that is a new dating game? I want to fucking know. I don't know about this. Yeah, but here's hey, the thing. Researcher, here's the thing. researcher over there, we need to know, is there a game show in England or Australia that has a nude dating hey, game? Listen, Becky won't mind this at Google search at all. Put Big Tits, <laughs> England, game show, American. <laughs> Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> no. Roll Tide. <laughs> I'm going to go with new dating game. New hey. dating game. There you go. And I now now you're totally screwed. That is not a work iPad, is it? All, all about new uh, naked attraction. Oh, naked uh, Brandon attraction. Brandon says, looks like Israel just lit up Iran. Oh. It's been nice knowing you. Uh-oh. Oh, Brandon, why you, you got to bring that? us down? Can you check that? Did that actually happen? I, I was checking that before I went for the uh, naked attraction. Did so. it seem that that may have happened? I didn't see anything. Guys, I'm not trying to go political, but if you're going to fuck with Israel, like you kind of expect them to fucking strike back. Look, look check it's out the check out the Six Day bit. War from 1967. They've kind of been doing that for centuries. Yeah, this is kind of their thing, man. I don't really know what we're doing that. Full frontal. Whoa, whoa, what? That's what it's called. Scroll back down. Full frontal. 
Oh, here it is. Chip Chip says, yes, Naked Attraction UK, full frontal. Wow. Does that include, um, Be does that include Beaver? Well, Beaver's not, I mean, first of all, nobody wants to see the dingleberries. Nobody wants to see you talking about, all that. You talking about Just like we talked about berries? this before, nobody wants a pick. It's just not, no, I, it's not cute. It's never cute. It's I would agree cute. with that. However, there's things on a girl that are, that are cute, though. Um, boobs, maybe, but the, the, the this, like, there's great things on TikTok about this. <laughs> it looks like a naked, uh, like a, a, what do you call it? Roast beef sandwich? It's <laughs> just terrible. Becky looking. says, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Now, wait a minute. Wasn't that a board game? It was a video game. A video game. A very early on video game. But oh, they also did a, They also did a show, yeah. You go, love on the Car spectrum. Carbon San Diego. I love love on the spectrum. Dude, that's not a, that's not a game. No, but it's so cute. I think it's kind of disrespectful. He called it a game, actually. Well, I mean, but do we love Abby? Do we love, we Abby? love Abby? We love Abby. Abby has figured out how to monetize. Well, her mom has figured out how yeah. to monetize it, and good for them. Good for them. Uh, let's see. Colleen says, we watched Naked Attraction. Too weird for us. It's too weird. That's like naked and afraid. Why are you going to get naked and go out in the jungle where a scorpion can bite your balls or or or, or snip off why, your why nipple? Did it, couldn't it have just been your foot? Why does that have no, your balls? It's either your balls or your nipples. Like, one of those is going to be gone when you're naked in the jungle. Like, if you go to sleep and you're a female, things will crawl in places that you shouldn't have them crawl. Is it's this, just not. It's just not good. Is this like don't what don't participate. Like I what know happened. we have lots of people on here that wanted to participate in Naked and Afraid, so just don't, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know. It, listen, if it's too weird for Colleen and Joshua, like I'm concerned. I probably don't want to watch that. Because that to me, Colleen and Joshua. Now I don't necessarily know them that well, but I feel like we're probably at the same level. You know. Naked and Afraid is weird. Like, I just don't understand that. Uh, and and Revenge is Naked and Afraid is kind of a game show. I mean, yeah. It, it, it's freaky as hell. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brandon says, the contestants are eliminated in three phases, beginning below the waist <laughs> and moving up the face. <laughs> is that real? Are you just fucking with are us? You, are, you, are you being real? You fucking with us. You sound like the, girl, the mom from Jackass. She goes, is that real? Is that real? Is that real? Is that real? Is that a real goes, alligator? <laughs> No, naked and afraid is jacked up. Yeah, I don't Otag's understand that. Fucked out. Uh -uh. Well, I'm paraphrasing Otag. Because they, they literally like give you a string and like a piece of beef jerky, and they're like, "Good luck. <laughs> we'll see you in a week." Deuces. <laughs> and then not only that, but it's like a, a man and a woman. It's not like a lot of times, yeah. That it, it, it is on naked. He said, uh, did we have a bunker member win Naked and Afraid? What? Is that? No, nah, I don't think we did. No, come on. Uh, Brandon says, at Colleen, agree it was really bad. Shallowness at its ultimate level. Wait, what's wrong with being shallow? <laughs> Brandon. Yeah, what's wrong with By that? the way, Brandon, um, he graciously, and I mean this very, very graciously, gifted the bunker a bottle of Booker's for our yes. bourbon event in Birmingham last yes. year. Of course, we had like 15 bottles for six people. So I kept the bookers and I refused to touch it unless it was at a bourbon event yes. for the bunker. And we brought it to Orange Beach. It is still going. Yes. Uh, we had a few pours out of it, but we brought it back home yet is again. It back so home? I want you, yes, oh, it was okay. back home. So I want you to know that, Brandon, it's still going, brother. And we're going to do something to Birmingham. We'll bring it yet again, bro. It's, uh, thank yes. you for uh, doing that. And it's not like me and Courtney said, fuck it, we'll just take it. <laughs> Uh, B. Haynes, uh, Chris, you may know her, uh, says Naked and Afraid is creepy and makes me itch just seeing the commercials. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I don't. I'm not I, interested in that show no. at all. I've watched like one episode and I'm like, this is not for me. Oh, The Biggest Loser. I will say that my sister used to say that she would watch The Biggest Loser and sit down with a gallon of ice cream while she watched that's, it. <laughs> that's just wrong. And by the way, your sister died. <laughs> yeah, she did. She's dead. She's not eating any, eating any more ice cream. <laughs> I have something I would have well, said. Well, wait a minute. Game, Maybe in heaven show. you get to eat all the ice cream you want. And not get fat? Yeah. That'd be shit. awesome. That may be so what if you got to heaven and all the ice cream you ate made your pee pee even bigger? No, so for well, me, you, it, better, you better line up. So for me, it wouldn't be a big deal. But for some people that have micros, that would be really helpful. Okay. They would eat a lot of Neapolitan. Okay. Tori says, Squid Games. Has anyone seen the Neapolitan American Neapolitan is the biggest fuck show in the world. What does that Neapolitan even mean? ice cream is just such a joke. 
What does that like even you mean? Get, you get like this, like like sampling of like three different ones. Yeah. And it's not like the real deal. Like you can't like just you can't like just shovel in one of them. You have to like sample off three kinds, and I don't like that. I think that's unfair. I don't think that's right. Yep. Sorry. Next, uh, next, next. Courtney's corner is going to be ice cream flavors. So just Chip so Chip know. says the Booker's was a fine sip. That's for you, a yes. you tax man. Also, uh, Raven oh, yes. says at Chris Haynes, a.k.a. customer across the street, lots of J.D. Sinatra down here at Beach Liquor. Oh, I, is that where you got it? He, he's had more than one. That's what she I said. I don't know if that's maybe where you got it or not. Though. Yeah, I've, I've had my fill of Sinatra. I've had two yeah, bottles of Yeah, well, you of fucking drank half a bottle. You enjoyed it this weekend. Who was your anchor leg on that? You Because you had help. You had some conspirators. Mm. Was it you? I was drinking some of it, yeah, but it took more than me and you to drink an entire fucking thing. I have to hold my hand. And we can, we can, we can, it, we it, I, I will say it was a liter. It wasn't a fifth. Oh, it, it was, was a, it was bigger. It was a bigger bottle. It was a big daddy. It, it was and, a liter. And Coach just comes up to me and goes, you want some Sinatra? <laughs> it's like, yes, I would love to put that in my mouth. Thomas <laughs> says, please put butter pecan on there, Courtney. Oh, wait, oh, for um, the... It depends, man. I have butter pecan can't come really from the store. That has to be like a homemade one. My whiskey nose says, "Hey guys, hey guys what's up?" What a whiskey nose! One of our yeah, friends the, from the um, Major Zero Network. The Jack Daniels Everyone Sinatra is up. good, but I just have. If you gave it to me and I didn't know it was Jack Daniels, I'd probably be fine. But knowing that it's Jack Daniels, I'm always going to be a little well, pessimistic. Hey, whiskey! Real quick before you talk about that, whiskey nose is here. I'm gonna this take is a, bourbon. I'm gonna take another drink of this. Hold on, let me go to the full screen because I don't think Whiskey Nose has had a chance to see this yet. Um, this is the worst bottle we have ever gotten. This is a store pick from Elixir Spirits outside of Nashville in what's the name of the city? Smyrna? No, um, Spring uh, Hill. Spring Hill, where the Saturn plant used to be. Yes, that's tell exactly you. right. Yes. Now listen, this is a great store. They got a lot oh, of shit. Oh yeah, they have an amazing store. The guy who runs it is awesome. Yes. I got this, it's this not, store pick, um, and it's, I will say it it's is not, the worst I've ever had. It's 100% not run by a woman there. It is not very well organized. No, it's, it, well, he's not a woman. And stuff is everywhere, but there's a lot of good stuff up in there. This was not it. <laughs> so This was not it. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, every time, sometimes people get, sometimes there's butthole bourbon, and this is butthole bourbon. It smells like Flintstones vitamins on the nose. Why are you drinking it again? It's for bourbon. It's for whiskey nose. You just need to put it in the, like, in sink and run it. Whiskey nose <laughs> deserves to know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it is not that bad, Jay. I mean, it's, it's terrible, but. It's so bad. <sighs> whiskey nose says, get the barrel foundation five year for 50. My review is out tomorrow. Oh. Boom. Y'all check that out. And also, Whiskey Nose, by the way, also has the nose on his. That's very cool. Otag is calling you out. Putting three drops on JGG putting exactly. It was all I needed to fucking taste it, bro. That's all I needed. Butthole bourbon. Shoes. Can we just, like, we're just going to put a picture of a butthole on it. This guy is so bad. Uh, the Barrel Foundation five year, cuz we have seen that. Did we end up buying that? Did one of us buy that? I don't remember. I don't that think one. we did. I think we saw it in Sandestin and we did we passed on we it. We may have. We have a lot of barrel, to be fair. And all of it's well, I can't say all of it. Damn near all of it's really good. This stuff is asshole. <sighs> Look at this. Uh Dean Atlanta says Neapolitan is the shocker of ice cream. Brown and pink separated by the white. Just just close that out. We don't need that discussion. <laughs> uh, also, Chad uh, says Naked Attraction. Oh, he sent us a, le uh, a, oh. a link. Is that what Naked Attraction was? It says it shocks it? American viewers, quote, I'm titillated by the nudity. Oh, amazing. That is a great verb to use. Titillated. Sorry, I had to answer Henry there. Um, I would probably do better <laughs> with the Barrel Foundation five years. Uh, Whiskey Nose says, I'm so sorry you did that for me. <laughs> no, I, I, I actually did that earlier, and I was just doing it again. Just I it smells like Flintstone vitamins. And then 
It just tastes, it just, uh, I mean. Ruben says, Jay's response is like when the state trooper in Dumb and Dumber drinks the piss bottle. <laughs> Dumb and Dumber, that is, uh, that is one of the great comedy movies we did not discuss prior on our uh, show. I think I had it on our, on my list. Uh, I don't think so. Bobby Doo! That's our mover. Uh, yes, Bobby. That dude's a badass right there. Bobby. I like that guy. I think he's a Virginia Tech fan. Bobby. Uh, we love Bubby okay. Doo. Yes. All right, it's nine twenty nine. I promised Cuz. I promised Cuz we wouldn't keep him here too long because you gotta go to work tomorrow. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of people relying on you to do work things. Work shit tomorrow, right? Cuz. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to keep you here too late. Mm. And uh, Whiskey Nose says Harry and Lloyd are MF legends. They are for sure. He goes, <laughs> Yeah, I sold Petey the blind kid. <laughs> Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. <laughs> he had tape on him and shit. <laughs> Taped his head back. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you, you go, go and pull something, something like this. And totally, totally redeem, redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get on? Oh, yeah. Uh, this John Denver guy is full of shit. So one of Jay's things is that he wants to uh, have like this RV that we travel around in as old people. But I'm gonna get you one of those um, one of those RVs like they have in Dumb and Dumber with the, the dog mobile. Like, like the, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> it's all hairy. <laughs> it was called Sorry, mutt cuts, I think. Mutt cuts. <laughs> I was trying to see if we had a we need a two bedroom, two king bed, mobile home. Oh, no. not mobile home. Uh. Not a mobile home. Class not, A RV. What we need? Not an RV. Yes, an RV. Class A um, RV with two king bed bedrooms. Chris, would we be good with that? I don't think there's one. I, I I don't think there's one. I think that would have to be for short visit, like short trips. I didn't say we were going to fucking I'm Vancouver. Not, I'm not driving to Alaska. In that. No, we'll just go to Meridian. So we'll go thing. to Meridian. Wait a minute. We'll start with Meridian here's and we'll thing. work our way up to Greenwood. Both males in this situation of these two couples that Jay's talking about have a little issue with people on the road and not knowing how to drive. Who mean cuz? So therefore you're going to drive something that's like it, four times the size of anything you normally drive. It's not my fault that other drivers are stupid. I mean, and, yes! and Jay is going to freak out because like the miles per gallon are going to be like eight. Well, I know what I'm getting into there. <laughs> yes. Eight. <laughs> Look at this. CJ says we have a class A RV. Oh, Holy wow. Holy shit. That. Is that true? Number 19, is this true? Yes. Corey Weber has a great quote right there. So, so you're saying Tell me there's a chance. chance. <laughs> <laughs> she said, is it like one in a hundred? And she goes, it's more like one in a million. Oh, so you're, you're telling me there's a chance. chance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Corey W says better comedy, Dumb and Dumber or Friday? Ooh. That is a tough one. I would probably say Friday, but those are both good, cuz. Friday. Friday's Friday. good. When you go, damn, you just got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. That is a good show. Ezel! <laughs> 20, 40, 60, <laughs> 80. <laughs> uh, Bubby Deuce says, remodel a school bus to turn into a home. I've seen it done before. Oh, but that would take a lot of effort. Well, that sure would. I uh, want somebody to do that for me already. I kind of like I wanted somebody to help us move <laughs> because I could physically do it, but you guys are much more efficient at it. <laughs> when I was at... Uh, I was going to say Daytona, Talladega in 2012, I saw a bus that had been converted into a bar. It was called the Ho Snatcher. I have pictures, bro. Ho Snatcher. And they had a uh -huh. rooftop bar, and then they had the full bar inside the bus. I mean, that is a Ho Snatcher. There has that been is, a that, lot of bitches, facts. like, drop panties over that shit. That's, I that's promise facts. you that. I mean, hey, at least they are not lying in their advertising. They know what they are looking for, and therefore these girls are like, yes, I want to get up in the Ho Snatcher and have something. I mean, they know what they're doing, right? Would you get in the host snatcher and do what you got to do? I mean, do? back in the day, yeah, but not now. I'm too old for that shit stuff. If you indeed got snatched by the host snatcher, would that mean that you were then, in fact, a hoe? I don't know. I have to look at the um, parable that you have given to me. <laughs> the parable? <laughs> the parable. If I, okay. am, if I am indeed a hoe. <laughs> if the jeans are tight, the fit is just right. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. 
Also, uh, number 19 confirms that he does indeed own, uh, partially own, along with Mrs. 19, a Class A RV. And that uh, CJ RVs said RVs are worse than boats. Oh, CJ, they're killing you. They're killing your buzz here. How about we just rent one then? We can rent one. Rent a really fancy one. I met a guy today that told me that if you want it, if you want to attract women, so, it, do you want to attract women? That's my question. If you for want you. to attract, is, then you is, get a boat. Is AA harshing our buzz? Why are you harshing uh, our buzz, AA? Oh, because that's my role. <laughs> you're not, you're not a buzz harsher. Let's see. Uh, Bobby Do says, shit, I'd hop in the hoe snatcher. <laughs> it's hoe snatcher. Snatch up. That, yes. With an A on the end. I'm going to pull that shit for next show, all right? Yeah, for the, uh, from uh, Talladega. Yeah. Because there were so many bitches like lined up on that thing. They, it was like at least three to one girls I mean, and guys. If you are a female going to the host match, uh, you kind of know what's coming to you. Like you, you yeah. just, you, you're inviting host snatchery. <laughs> I mean, yes, you're, you're going to get hoed up. <laughs> All right, are we, cuz, have we covered it tonight? Have we covered everything we, we came here to do? I believe so. Okay, do you have any updates on Israel versus. Uh, I do not. Iran. Fucking A, man. That's Wait, weird. Iran? Iran. Like from Flock of Seagulls? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let's see. Hotag says, hoeing on business. I am not no, hoeing on beans. Business. We stand on beans. We stand Who stands on, on business, cuz? AP stands That's on business. That's right. Fucking right he does. That's right. Antonio Which Pierce. Which actually is coach. a very good segue into... We will not be here next Thursday night because we have the NFL draft and we have to see how much AP stands on business Being for our Raiders. Our Raiders. Yes. So. <laughs> Number 19 says I'll take Israel in the points. <laughs> Guys, I thought you'd like that. I mean, that, that, that's, uh, yeah. So we're not going to be here next week because we're doing the draft. Uh, Cousin do Becky. I mean, we're doing the draft. Cousin Becky are going to have a little shindig and. Since they're Raiders sympathists like we are, we yes. got we got to go be part we of it. We have that, to go so. be part of it and find out. But we'll be back in team. two weeks, and then at that point we'll be preparing for the Derby. And this is something you may not be aware of. Oh. I think that's going to be our one year anniversary because we did our first show I think on May first. Oh, look at that! Of last year. So in honor we'll have of to, we'll have we'll have fireworks and balloons. In honor of and that, we're going to have cake. We're going to have cake. Uh, well, it is World Anal Day. Well, that that does not require. That's today. Me. That's today. It's, and world, I, it's world anal month. Guess what, Jay? You only have two and a half hours left, and your chances are low. <laughs> so we'll just move on. My chances are average to good. Your <laughs> chances are zero to. Zero. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, are you giving me the no, again, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, again, that. draft uh, next week, so we're going to be doing Raider shit next weekend. Mm -hmm. Next Thursday, excuse me. I mean, I know all of our um, sponsors are going to be devastated when we're doing a show, so. Uh, yeah, we'll sorry to, to Nissan, um, Berkshire Hathaway, <laughs> um, um, yes. Lotus, Lotus, who whatever. provided me with the 1989 uh, Lotus Esprit with the white wheels and the white mm -hmm. paint. Thank you, guys. I, I love you guys. Go, Lotus. And uh, we'll wrap it up there, right, guys? So, Cuz, thank you for being part of our show. Enjoyed it. I said we we're going to do you. shorter than usual. We're a little shorter than usual. Cheers, yeah, all. Cheers. Cheers. We'll, che we'll check you guys. How long, Courtney? Huh? How long until we see our next show? Two weeks? Two weeks. From all right, guys. Appreciate y'all. Cheers.